pan seared apricots with a little bit of honey drizzled on top, roasted bell peppers with some basil pesto, grilled asparagus with balsamic reduction, black figs with Greek yogurt and balsamic vinegar mixed with a little bit of honey, and just a simple tomatoes with chopped fresh basil and a touch of balsamic vinegar and some olive oil. And I made all these crostinis with the vegan cheese and I will show you the cheese recipe in just a moment but first I would like to tell you a very interesting story a few years ago I went to a small cafe in Mexico that was known for its falafel sandwiches it was a midday I walked in and there is this Mexican fella at the counter greeting me I said hi I've read about your place in a travel guide are you the owner? Where did you learn how to make falafels? And she says, on the internet, senor. I thought, hmm, okay, well, can you please make me uh, one of your famous falafel sandwiches? And she says, I'm sorry, senor, but I don't have any pita bread. Please, come back in an hour. But I see on the shelf, a whole stack of pitas. And what is that? I asked. And he said, Oh, that was baked this morning, senor. I don't use bread that is more than two hours old. It just doesn't taste as good. It cost me an effort to talk this guy into selling me a sandwich. It's funny because it's kind of like a sales in reverse. But he made me a sandwich, however, all along he didn't look happy, he kept repeating It's not going to taste as good, it's just not going to be the same Can you imagine what the restaurant experience would be like if more restaurant owners cared about the quality of the food they serve just like that guy in the falafel cafe well, in the next video, I'm going to tell you another, even more interesting story about how much people care about their product. And that will be a story about a French bakery. But now, let's make the nutritious vegan cheese that is healthier and better than any store bought. And it will cost us about five times less and won't have any thickeners or fillers like tapioca starch or canola oil, for example. We will need one cup of already cooked brown rice, half a cup of raw cashew nuts, four tablespoons of nutritional yeast, 3 quarter teaspoon of salt, 1 8 teaspoon of black pepper, 1 teaspoon of ground onion, quarter teaspoon of ground garlic, 1 tablespoon of lemon juice, and 3 quarter cups of very warm water. We will add a little bit at first. Let's blend everything together. A minute later, let's add the rest of the water and finish processing until very very smooth and it's ready how about we will make a falafel sandwich with our vegan cheese and some basil pesto cut the pita add some cheese squish some falafels put falafels in the pita add some vegetables and then some basil pesto doesn't look like Middle Eastern, I agree, but the basil pesto still makes it very Mediterranean. And I will see you soon, thank you for watching.